attacked! Oh my god! Oh, someone put a porcupine in my drawer! Oh my god. Yeah, I was just sitting here on my desk, and I, I reached into my drawer to grab my toothbrush and, and some tooth powder, and, and, and all, all of a sudden I was attacked by this bloodthirsty, rabid creature. I wonder, in this office, who has access to a porcupine? Or who in this office knows that I have access and is trying to set me up? Hmm. You know, this sounds a lot like the premise of my latest Chad Flenderman novel, A Murder for Framing. Chad Flenderman, just an easygoing black guy who knows the streets, yet he also went to Oxford. So, just as comfortable on a motorcycle as he is on Air Force One. Oh, and he's also the world's leading Egyptologist. Toby, nobody cares about your sex-crazed black detective. No, 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 no. women chase him. He misses his wife. Hello, lacerated hand here, folks. Nice try, this is ridiculous. Oh, is it really? Two separate times, you have set me up to believe that I was being recruited by the CIA. Three times. <laughs> you see? Jim, this has your fingerprints all over it. Andy, you gotta be kidding me. Fingerprints can be planted, you know, with a severed hand. Do you think that's what happened? Do you think you used a severed hand? Okay, you know what? Why don't we just call animal control? You might want to run that by Angela, because it's so cute. No, porcupines don't have souls. They're like dogs. Yes, I'm calling from Dunder Mifflin. We have a very rabid porcupine in our office. Someone should come pick it up. Come down right away. Uh, I don't know, let me ask. Uh, were you quilled? Yes, I was quilled. And what's his name? Henrietta. Oh. What? Oh. All right. Get her out of here, Dwight. 